All right. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to our Yuba City Town Hall. My name is Caitlin. I'm the Director of Marketing here at Race Communications, and I just wanted to say thank you for taking the time out of your night to come hang out with us for a little bit, learn a little bit about race, learn a little bit about our project in Yuba and all of the services we are bringing to your community. Uh, I am joined tonight by some of my coworkers. I've got Matt, our Director of Sales on the screen. You see Chris, the Director of Field Operations and Michael, our Director of Customer Support. And then also behind the scenes, we have Sage and Crystal, some of our wonderful marketing team helping us make this run in the production possible. So we can go to the next slide. Uh, just a little table of contents, letting you guys know what we are gonna be up to tonight. We're gonna share about who we are, more about the Yuba City project, the products and services we're bringing to the community, including Race TV and our really cool and free app, Command IQ. We'll talk about what to expect when it comes to getting our service and the installation process, a little bit about what makes our customer support unique to the community, questions. Um, we will also be having answering your questions. We'll have a live Q&A at the end, so make sure to drop your questions at the bottom in the Q&A, and we will answer those towards the end of the town hall, and stay tuned for that. So we'll go to the next part. Um, just so you guys know before we get started, um, again, we are giving away free fiber internet tonight. So that's really exciting. Everyone who has registered for the town hall and is attending right now will be eligible for one month of free internet. We're also giving away um, some more prizes to some of our lucky winners, some three months, six months free, all that kind of stuff. So you've got to stay through the webinar and wait until we do the giveaways Make sure that you have registered. Make sure that you scan this QR code if you haven't registered yet um, so that you are eligible to win the prizes. All right, we'll go on to the next part here. All right, we're going to talk a little bit about race and just um, what we're all about within your community. So you've probably heard of race if you've registered for this webinar, but we are a fiber internet company and we've been installing fiber internet since the early 2000s. Currently, we're serving over 30 communities throughout California, and we are the first fiber internet company in California to offer the speeds of 10 gigabits per second. That's the fastest uh, in California, and it was the fastest in the nation when we launched it in Lancaster, California. We are also, like I said, based in California, so we have local customer support, local warehouses, our team, a lot of them are within California, and we're really part of the community. So we can go ahead to the next slide. All right, we're gonna talk a little bit about your community in Yuba City, what we actually have within it. So first of all, we're here to support all of the homes and businesses within Yuba City. We're making sure that, you know, whether it's a movie night or you have an important presentation at work, maybe you're trying to just stay up to date with your local news, that we have the connection that keeps you connected to what matters most to you. Um, with that, this is the service area. It's the projected service area right here. And you'll see what that means is that this is where we're estimated to be in the area. But with construction, things can change. We may expand the map. There may be um, certain modifications. So the best way to find out if your home is actually serviceable is to head to race.com slash order and we will be able to write on that page once you put your address in, it's gonna tell you if you're serviceable. And we are taking pre-sales throughout all of Yuba City. So you'll see on it, you know, your home is serviceable or you are eligible for a pre-order and that will tell you if you are within our service network or not. Um, but we are coming to 28,000 plus homes and businesses. We have 525,515 feet of fiber laid throughout the community. So it's been quite a big build. And we're really excited to service everybody, bring the fastest speeds to Yuba, bring fiber internet and a reliable connection to you guys um, that you guys can really count on and connect to what matters with. So we'll go to the next slide. All right, so we are up to the first giveaway here. I'm gonna go ahead and look in the chat. Sage, if you wanna go ahead and drop that first winner in the chat. 
Christy Macias, it looks like you are the lucky winner of three months of free internet. So if you can go ahead and email us at sales at race.com, we will go ahead and get you taken care of and get that internet connected for you. So congratulations, Christy. All right, with that, we can go to the next slide. I am going to kick it over to Matt, our director of sales, and he's gonna walk you through all of our products and services um, and, and how they'll benefit you guys. So thank you again so much. And Matt, it's all yours. Thanks, Caitlin. Um, good evening, everybody. Uh, thank you guys again for all taking the time to join us this evening. We're super excited to talk to you guys about uh, our services and, and products and um, all the processes that go along with it. So um, what you're looking at now are our four different internet packages. Um, and before we go into each one, um, I want to kind of talk about what is the commonality between all four of these. So no matter which internet package you select, um, it is all run over the same fiber optic network. So again, we are a fiber to the home provider. There is no old copper infrastructure that we are using like some others in your community. This is a brand new fiber optic network. And of course, with all the benefits of being fiber. Um, one of the major benefits of being fiber is the amount of bandwidth that fiber can provide over older copper networks. Um, like Caitlin talked about, and you see here on the right-hand side, we're offering 10 gigabit speeds, um, which is insane, um, not just for the state, but for the country. That's 10,000 megabits per second. Um, the competitors are not choosing to provide this because they don't want to. It's because they can't. And that's because of the old copper infrastructure that they are using. So no matter which plan, you're getting fiber to the home. Um, something else with all of these plans, there is no data caps. I know some providers um, at a certain point will either stop your data usage, charge you more at a certain point for your data usage, maybe throttle down your speed because their network can't handle the amount of users on the network, um, not with race. It is 100% unlimited data all the time. Um, something else that's a big deal with all of these plans is the fact that we don't put you in a contract. Um, again, the competitors like to throw out a nice promotional plan, lock you in a one-year, two-year, three-year agreement um, because they're worried you're going to skip out and they want that early termination fee, right? Um, with race, we're not worried about that. Um, our services and products retain our customers. Once you have fiber to the home, um, our customers stick around. So, with no contracts, that means you can change these plans when you like. So if you wanna try that 10 gig out, do it. The gig, 500 megs, whatever you wanna do, you are not locked into anything with any of our plans. Um, so we try to make it as simple and, and user friendly as possible. Um, a couple other benefits with every one of these plans. The router is included. You guys see that at the bottom of the bullet points there. Um, there is no additional charge to using our router. Um, and yes, you can still use your own router if you prefer, um, but with our carrier class managed Wi-Fi router, um, you will get the free remote technical support that comes with it. So if you have any questions or having some Wi-Fi interference at the home, trying to set up a guest network, anything, 99% um, of the time, we do not need to roll a tech out to your home. You can call uh, Michael's team, the support team, and they'll go ahead and make those changes remote into your network in your home and answer any questions that you have, um, which is really convenient um, for our customers. Um, free installation. So you guys saw the network that we're, st we're still building the rest of the network in Yuba. Um, to bring that fiber optic network to your home and then also doing your in-home installation, all of those steps are done at no cost to you. So again, um, those, that's really what separates us from the competition. It's not just the exceptional services that fiber to the home can provide, but it's the support 
and installation um, that goes along with it. Um, okay, so let's talk about the plans really quick. Um, starting second from left, 25 megabits per second. So this is our entry level program. Um, if you're a light internet user, um, you're not working from home, you're not streaming a ton, um, you don't have the gamer in the house needing the, the fastest internet, this is the plan for you. Um, next up to the left, 500 megabits per second. This is a newer plan um, that we've launched. Um, and kind of like it said, it's kind of our affordability meets speed package. So um, you're not a light user, but you're doing some gaming. You're streaming on a couple devices. Um, maybe the grandkids are coming over more often now because they heard you have race and they want to jump on their tablets and do some gaming. Um, that's the plan for you. Um, next up, third from left, the one gigabit per second. This is our most popular package in all of our service areas, um, mainly because if people are getting fiber to the home, they want to get the full capabilities out of that. So with one gigabit per second, which like the bullet point shows, that's a thousand megabits per second. Um, you can handle almost all devices in the home. So if you have the gamer, you want to have the LAN party, you want to you got the, you know, the thermostat, the fridge, the vacuum, the, I mean, what doesn't hook up to internet now in the home? With this package, you don't have to worry. Um, and then of course, we have the groundbreaking package to the far right, 10 gigabits per second. Um, again, this isn't just a big deal um, locally, uh, as a whole throughout the country, Offering 10,000 megabits per second to a home is unheard of. Um, race likes to be the first, and here's an example of us doing that. So who is this package for? This is for the extreme user. So if you are you know, have multiple gaming devices in the home, um, you're working from home, schooling from home, you've got tons of devices, you want to just be the person on the block that can say, I've got the fastest internet in the country. Um, with this package, you will never have to worry about any buffering, lag, uploading files, downloading large video files. Um, it's pretty amazing. Um, and something else I forgot to point out that all of these bullet points show on the first, you see it says upload and download. Uh, that's called symmetrical speeds. So when we say 10 gig, that means 10 gigabits per second download and upload. The copper networks cannot do that. They will tell you the download speed, but they will hide the upload speed in the fine print. And again, this isn't them choosing to slow down upload speed. This is a limitation of a copper network that they're running on. Why does that matter? Who cares about upload? Everybody should. Um, right now on this Zoom call, we are uploading our video content and audio over the internet. So if you're working from home, you're in those meetings, um, security systems, you're uploading your video to a cloud storage usually. So that's why it's very important to have not only a fast download, but a fast upload as well. Um, okay, I think we've talked about the internet packages enough. Let's go next slide, please. So TV. So obviously we offer internet. We also offer TV service. This is live television. Um, and really exciting, um, this utilizes a new streaming app. Um, so no longer is it the old system where you have this set-top box in your home, then you got the coax cable having to go to every TV location, you know, like DirecTV and other providers do. This is a streaming app that you would download on your streaming device. So um, if you have a Fire Stick, Apple TV, um, you don't need to buy any extra equipment to watch live TV with us. You simply sign up for the package. You'll get an email to download the application. You'll log in just like you did with your Netflix, just like you did with Hulu. You would literally go to your, your streaming device and search Race TV. Um, the TV application works on most streaming devices, Fire Stick, Apple TV, um, any smart TV that runs the Google Play Store, but 
there are so many TV brands and there are so many more streaming devices, it's hard to get a full list of where the app is available. So if you really want to know, does my device support Race TV? Just search for Race TV right now. Go on your streaming device, search for apps, type in Race TV. If it pops up, there's your answer. If it doesn't pop up, don't worry. We can provide a streaming box for you at the time of installation. Um, $7 a month, and we will provide a streaming device for you if your devices aren't capable. So it's up to you. Um, with the TV package, um, there's three different packages. So there's a basic package you see at the bottom starting at only $39. Um, so the basic package for $39 is really tailored to um, the, the person who streams most of their content because this package includes your local channels for the Yuba area. Um, also some, some other channels as well, but it's mainly the streaming of local channels. So if you want the local news, the local sports, sometimes the streaming platforms can't deliver that. So buy this package from us. Uh, now you have the local news and sports. Uh, we have two additional TV packages that offer over 150 live TV programs. Um, so uh, again, no contracts. If you try a TV package out, you want to try a different one, give us a call. Real simple to do. Um, let's go next slide, please. So here's just some screenshots of what the TV application looks like. So on the far left, you just see the application on a mobile device. So you don't have to only watch TV on a TV, right? You got a smartphone, you can watch live TV. You got a tablet, you can watch live TV. Um, so any streaming device um, you can utilize. You see on the right here, all of these programs, there is a, uh, the service has an algorithm that learns the shows and programs you watch and it will show programs that may interest you based on um, your viewing history in the application. We can go next, please. Uh, more screenshots. So you see in the middle there, even though it's an application on your streaming device, the guide is just like any other standard TV service. So you can search for the network. Um, obviously, you can record programming. So with our TV service, um, it's a cloud-based DVR. So you do not need any extra equipment to download um, programs. You can record programs um, up to 150 hours of recording. Um, you can have five people in your home streaming the race TV at one time. So a tablet, a phone, a couple TVs in the bedrooms, all at the same time watching live TV. Um, we can go next, please. And phone. So last but not least, um, we also offer home phone. This is landline home phone service. Um, real simple, 10 bucks a month, unlimited calling um, within the US, Canada, Puerto Rico. So a lot of people, $10 a month for peace of mind, knowing you have that landline when needed um, for emergency uses. Um, the other neat thing with our fiber network, because again, this phone service is run over our fiber optic network, just like the TV and the internet, um, it has backup power. So in the event of a power outage in your area, um, if you have a backup battery plugged into our equipment in your home, or you have a generator, running things, uh, if you can plug in our equipment, you have home phone service, okay? Um, even if the cell phone towers go down um, for whatever reason, if you can get power to our equipment, even in a power outage, you can make and receive calls. Okay, um, so order now. Like Caitlin mentioned, um, you can place your order. So you don't have to wait for us to build in front of your home. We're still building in your community. A lot of it has been complete. Uh, we have many customers online in your city now. Um, but go ahead, head to our website, race.com, or give us a call at the 877 number. We can put your order in the system now. If your home isn't ready for installation just yet, because we haven't built in front of your home yet, it's no problem. We can let your order 
Um, we save it on file. We'll send you monthly updates on the progress of your home. And then once it's time to schedule your installation and get the project moving forward, we will give you a call and uh, move you forward at that time. Okay. Thank you, everybody. All right, and it is time for our second giveaway of the night. Sage, if you wanna go ahead and pop that winner in the chat, see who it is. Josephine Mueller, it looks like you are the next lucky winner. Congratulations, you're gonna get three months free of internet and make sure to look in the chat, email us at sales at race.com or give us a call tomorrow and we will go ahead and get you hooked up. Congratulations, Josephine. All right, we will kick it to the next and I believe that's going to be the one and only Chris, our director of field operations. So Chris, you've got it from here. All right. Good evening. I'm Chris Bader, the Director of Field Operations. Um, my department, my team um, dispatches, schedules, does the installs, does the troubleshoots if you guys happen to have that, and the drops. Um, so hopefully I can do my best to answer all these really great questions coming up. I can see the feed. So hopefully I knock some of these out before the end, but we'll see. Um, next slide. So there's a couple steps to your installation process once sales schedules it. They're gonna schedule at the time of the install, at the time of your sale, um, they'll reach out, get you on the schedule. Um, what that happens is it'll schedule a drop. A drop is our fiber line from either the pole, the infrastructure at the pole overhead or an underground vault. Um, this is done at the time uh, we engineer the plant. Um, if you're in an overhead neighborhood, you have power coming to your house overhead, generally are gonna be fed overhead. If you're underground, um, there's gonna be tiny vaults um, in the front of your house. In the utility easement, sometimes it's in the concrete middle of the, middle of the sidewalk, other times it's in the grass. It really depends on the utility easement. Um, that's what you're gonna see. It looks a lot like an ATT or somebody else's um, infrastructure um, there. So that's how you're gonna know. Um, they're able to tell you the time of the sale too if your infrastructure is overhead or underground. Um, like I said, you can go outside and look pretty easy. Um, so at that time, um, we're going to go do the install for the drop. Um, that is going to happen before your installation. Um, if you're in an underground neighborhood, that is why your installation is going to be pushed out a little bit. Um, when we do an underground drop, we have to do what's called a USA ticket. Um, they come and mark the utilities, so power, electric, gas, if there's an area, to make sure when we dig to put an underground infrastructure in, we don't hit anything, right? Um, so it does take a little bit of time. It takes a couple of days to get the USA in and most drops underground drops take a couple hours. So underground, you're going to be pushed out a little bit on the flip. If you have an overhead drop, we don't have to do USA ticket. Our text will be at the, be out there within a day or two um, to get your overhead drop done and into the side of the house. Uh, we generally follow power. So if you have, you know, a power box on the side of your home, if you have a, another communication box, it's where we're going to put it. We're going to put a small um, clamshell on the side of your home. That is a termination point of the drop. And then we wrap the house with fiber. Um, go to the next slide, please. So at the time of the installation, somebody like Uriel, he's actually a Lancaster tech, um, will come out, they'll talk to you. We're going to need an adult home to make a decision. Um, we need to make sure the walkways around the house is clean. Um, we're going to avoid any appliances, TVs, microwaves, printers. A lot of those will kill your Wi-Fi. Um, it is no good to have fast gig speed internet um, if we're going to kill your Wi-Fi signal. Um, so we're going to talk about it. We're going to look for the most um, general, basically the center of your home, wherever we can get the best Wi-Fi coverage. Um, the tech's going to know it. We install a lot of, a lot of installations. We have to look at, um, did you have an addition on your house? Um, if you converted a garage to a living room space. A lot of times that's not a good place to put a Wi-Fi router. Um, exterior walls kill Wi-Fi signals. So they're gonna ask you a lot of questions. That's why we need a decision maker home at the time so we can get the best router placement. Um, once we figure that out, we're gonna wrap the exterior of the home with fiber. It's pretty small, about the size of a, a phone charger from an iPhone. It's black, you can barely see it. Um, it comes in fiber straight to the home, straight to the router, ONT. That's what we call them optical network terminals. 
Um, so next slide. Once the router's in place, this is something Race does different from other providers. We test your home for Wi-Fi, um, Wi-Fi strength tests, um, also known as a heat map. So on the left side of the screen, it says first, this is when the tech puts just a router in the home, right? Um, the blue area in the green is where they're getting um, really good Wi-Fi signal. And when the word turns orange is where it deteriorates and we have to start putting mesh units in. On the right side of the screen, you'll see second, that's after we put a mesh unit in. Um, this homeowner actually had an RV parked in their driveway on the top, top right where it's kind of orange. That's actually outside in their driveway. They wanted to make sure they could get um, Wi-Fi to their RV. So when they have family over, they could stay in the RV and not be in the home. But that's what it looked like. So we have good Wi-Fi coverage. What we learned in this home was, like I was saying earlier, where we put the router was a... Um, was their office space and it was actually an exterior wall. So as soon as you hit the exterior wall, it just killed the Wi-Fi. So we put what the mesh units to extend the, the Wi-Fi in the home. Now they're covered. We have to make sure we have good Wi-Fi for your, your race TV apps, right? The TV apps are off Wi-Fi. Um, we, we, do we check the TVs, make sure we have good Wi-Fi signal there. Um, we'll even turn your TV on, make sure you can get a race app for your TV. If you can't download it, we have a box we can we can rent to you per month, or I always tell somebody to go get a fire stick. Once it's paid for, you're not paying a rental fee, um, and fire sticks gets race TVs on all of it. Again, uh, the techs are gonna check your entire home for good Wi-Fi coverage to give you a good experience. Next uh, slide, please. So once you're all installed, we're gonna download what's called race command IQ to your smartphone. What is Race Command IQ? It is a smart app to control your internet. Um, you can do different Wi-Fi names. You can share your Wi-Fi to family members. You can turn your Wi-Fi on and off. Um, if you have a, a child at home and you want the Wi-Fi to shut off at nine o'clock, you can put it on a timer and shut it off. Um, it has restrictions for websites. If you don't want your kids looking at a certain, certain comic, you can put it in there. If you don't want them gambling, it shouldn't have a gambling problem, but you can block it, right? Um, you can block any website you want um, through Protect IQ. Um, it also has virus protection. So if they go on a website and they don't know it, it'll protect your network from getting attacked. Um, it literally helps you control your Wi-Fi. Um, pretty fun thing to have at home. Um, it really helps parents control what their kids are seeing, the time of day they're seeing it. Um, you can share your network to somebody for, if you have a family over at Christmas, you can do a temporary Wi-Fi, share it to them, shut it off at five o'clock, their internet goes away, they can go home, right? So it's a really good thing to do. Um, it comes with all of it. We try to download this to everybody's router. It also helps Michael's team on the back end for customer support. We can look into it and see what's going on your router. We can let you know that, hey, your daughter's cell phone is too far away from the router, right? Maybe she's outside trying to get it on, you know, connection. You're too far away. We can see that. Um, and we don't need the truck roll to troubleshoot Wi-Fi issues. Generally, they're troubleshot pretty quickly through our customer support. Um, next slide, please. Once that's all said and done, you get to enjoy your fast internet from race communications. Um, the photo here is Pastor Jason, who was one of our first installs um, in Williams at his church. And then he was lucky enough to be our first install in Calusa. He has 10 gig internet. Um, Dave Cruz, the guy in the middle, is our field supervisor in Yuba. Um, he lives in Yuba City. Uh, field operations hires a lot of employees out of, out of Yuba and gives them really good careers. Um, Cody is the guy with the white hard hat. You guys might see him if you've had installs done in your house. He does all of our installs. One of our really good install techs in Yuba City. He also has a family and raises in Yuba City. So um, we definitely are committed for field operations in Yuba City. Um, we have a lot of employees working out of our Yuba City office. So it's pretty exciting to get into the city, give them fast internet and provide good jobs as well. Um, that's all I have on field operations. Michael is up next. He is the director of customer support. <clears throat> thank you, Chris. And thank you, everybody, for attending. Uh, my name is Michael Josu, and I'm the Director of Customer Support here at Race Communications. And I'm here to talk a little bit about uh, just our customer support department um, within the area of Yuba. So jumping in, uh, we do provide a carrier class router, which is Wi-Fi 6 
compatible. Um, we use this technology to maximize throughput and wireless coverage throughout your home. And our router allows for MIMO, which is multi-in and multi-out. Um, this means that our routers can, can communicate to multiple devices at a single time, while older technology would only communicate to one. Um, our routers also come equipped with the latest security protocols, WPA3, which is the latest when it comes to a secured wireless connection and when using our routers. Uh, you'll have peace of mind knowing that we update the firmware on a regular basis to ensure that you always have the latest security protocols in place. No action is required on your end, and we'll make sure that uh, we'll take care of making sure the router is always up to date. Um, when using us as your internet provider, we have access to valuable insights surrounding the devices in question. Uh, with that information, we can use it to troubleshoot issues that you may be experiencing. Let's say uh, you're seeing a slow connection on one of your devices. If you call or email into support, our su uh, support agents will be able to remotely log in and review the details surrounding that device in question and then offer a solution. Um, if we're seeing speed related issues, we can see if the device is hardwired or wireless, um, if the hardware on the device itself is maxed out, or if things like range or interference may be causing issues. Uh, depending on those details, our agents will take you down our troubleshooting path to resolve your issue without ever needing us to come into the home. Um, if we cannot resolve your issue remotely, for example, let's say the power company was working on the poles and damaged the line to the home, or, hey, I accidentally spilt stuff all over my equipment, my service is down, a tech must come on site to restore the services uh, at the home. Our agents will be able to schedule your appointment by the end of the call to reduce downtime. Um, we aim to roll out to your home within a 24-hour period once a truck roll has been identified, it, but a huge majority of our su uh, support can be resolved remotely. But in that rare instance, we do need to come out, again, peace of mind knowing we're doing everything we can uh, to resolve your issue as, as quickly as possible. There are so many benefits to using our routers, but one of the things I definitely like the most is that we include all of these features and the router at no additional cost. That's right, we'll provide that router at no cost, no rental router charges, everything is included. If you like, like Matt mentioned before, you can provide your own router. However, you will lose access to all the benefits like the remote troubleshooting and the race command IQ app that Chris Bader talked about, talked about in the slide before. So really, we would recommend that you use our router for the best experience. Our support department is open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to midnight and can be reached via phone, email at support at race.com or chat, whichever is more convenient for you. Our support staff is, our, is located in our office within Yuba City or from the comfort from their own homes as we employ on-site and remote employees throughout California. We are happy to see our support staff local to the areas of which we are servicing, and we're excited to bring that fiber to Yuba City. And now I'm gonna pass the mic back to Caitlin for our final giveaway of the night. Thank you everybody, and back to you, Caitlin. All right, thank you, Michael. Let's get to it. So now we have our grand prize giveaway. We've got six months of free internet coming and we will see who Sage puts in the chat. All right, it looks like Mahan Dylan, you are the winner of the six months of free internet. Congratulations. Go ahead and email us at sales at race.com and we will get you taken care of. All right, let's see here. Go to the next slide, please. All right, now it is time for questions. We have a ton of questions that came in through Q&A. So thank you guys all for putting in your questions. You know, if more pop up while we're answering them, feel free to also ask those. We'll go ahead and get started. I will start kind of reading through them and filtering so that we don't get too lost in them. There are a bunch of them. So we'll go ahead and get started here. We have the first question comes in from we're actually our winner, um, and that is, is bandwidth bi-directional? Chris, do you want to take this one? Uh, yeah, sure. It, it's, we don't call it bi-directional, um, but pretty close. Um, hold on one second. Michael, can you grab yes. that? We, we do provide a symmetrical speed, um, so bi-directional, symmetrical, um, quarter, sort of along the same lines, we provide whatever speed package that you pick up, we are able to provide that both on the upload and download side. So if you sign on for our gig speed, you'll get a thousand megabits per second up and a thousand megabits per, uh, per second down. All right. 
Thank you so much, Michael, for answering that. And I will also, I'm pulling up a blog that may explain this a little bit, and I will drop it in the chat as well for you. Um, it will be a second because I got to read these questions. But we have um, a couple more coming up. We have one from Christy, and it is, does each household item count as a device? For example, um, your Roomba vacuum or anything smart? Yeah, I can grab that one. Um, short answer, yes. Yeah, any device that connects to the internet, they call that an internet of things, an IoT device. So when we say, um, you know, with 10 gigs, you can have unlimited devices, that's what we're talking about right? The, the vacuum, the thermostat, the tablet, the phone, all of those unique individual devices in the house. Hopefully oh. that answers your question. Yeah, Matt, I wanted to add too, you're going to see that on Command IQ. So I have a iRoomba in my house. I see it. I see when it turns on, you can turn off your, your devices remotely, um, which is kind of cool. Um, cameras, you see all your cameras, anything that connects through Wi-Fi, you're going to see it on command IQ. You can also rename it. So like we have several cameras in our house. We have, we have Huskies. So my wife has one called the dog camera. So we know that that's our one Husky that likes to roam around on the corner of the house. We watch that side to make sure that he doesn't try to jump a fence because Huskies, they jump in their runners, right? So a lot of our stuff, we rename everything. So we know what it is. Um, oftentimes, I'll use command IQ for events and I'll go and show people how we turn them on and off. She has one of the computers that says don't turn off because it's her server. So I don't want to get myself in trouble at home. So I don't touch that one. So you really know who's, whose iPhones they are. So if you have three kids in the home and they all have the same iPhone, you can name it John, Nick, Chris, whatever it is. And if one kid's in trouble, you can shut their phone off and leave the other two on the Wi-Fi. So it's really customizable for Command IQ to see what those are and understand what they are on your network. Yeah, and another use case real quick, when your kid's friend comes over that said wasn't coming over, you will be notified when their device connects to your network. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm that's that a good one, Matt. That's definitely a good one. Like, who's yes. at the house right now? Yep. Who just connected their, their phone? Mm -hmm. All right, very cool. Thank you guys for answering that one. The next one is about Race TV. It's from Chris, and he wants to know, can I watch Race TV on my phone or iPad when I'm traveling or I am away from home? That's a very good question. Um, so with the Race TV services currently, you have to be on a race network to watch the content. So you need to be home on the internet or if the neighbor's or friend's house or out is on the race network, then you can stream the content. Um, but um, something neat that we do offer with our basic plus and expanded TV packages um, is called Watch TV Everywhere. So um, if you're signed up for one of those TV packages for free, you can now download um, each um, channel's app, like the E app or the um, Discovery Channel app, um, and once those are downloaded on your device, you know, you'll, it'll ask you who's your provider. You'll just choose race communications. You'll create a login um, and any content on those applications um, you can watch anywhere. So it's kind of a little workaround. If you're traveling and want to watch content, um, watch TV everywhere comes with our expanded plus um, and basic plus TV packages. All right, thank you. Um, we have another question. This one is surrounding phone. Um, we're asking, any plans to have unlimited international plans to certain countries, such as India? We have a big Sikh and Indian community, and I wouldn't be surprised if this would be a great incentive for adopting the phone service. No, that's that's really good feedback. I, I can't say for sure if there's any plans to expand it, but your feedback is important. Um, so we will document that. And if you have others um, or other requests, please call in. We will make a ticket to document um, those requests. Um, and when it's possible um, you know, to look at those um, international rates, then it's documented on our side. Hi. Great, thank you. 
Um, Christy is coming in with a question about TV live sports. She wants to know, can we watch live sports in Eba City? And specifically, it looks like we have a San Francisco Giants fan in the house. Can we get Christy to the Giants? <laughs> so, yes, live sports are included with the channel lineups. Um, I'd have to know what channel in your area broadcasts the giant games. Um, so feel free to um, email us or give us a call and we can look into that for you. But yes, this is live TV. So if the channel is part of our package, um, you will absolutely be able to watch that content. Thank you. Um, next question we have, it's an internet question and it's from Russell and it says, the max speed of 12 devices, does that mean, I think they're referring to where we have the up to speeds on our packages. Um, so when it says, you know, up to 12 devices, is that 12 devices at a time or just a total of 12 devices, period? Can they all be running at the same time on those speeds? Yeah, so on those bullet points where we're showing the recommended amount of devices, that's simultaneous usage. And those are recommendations, right? Um, it may be able to handle more depending what you're doing. It may handle less depending on the content, download, streaming, right? But um, to answer the question, that's um, simultaneous use devices. Right. I, I think too, Matt, um, when you buy, when you get gig internet, you don't get gigs so you have a gig speed off one. That's so you can have multiple devices, 12, 24 at home, right? We have 10 gig internet. So you can have as crazy amount of internet devices, but it, it doesn't mean they're all going to test 10 gigabits of speed, right? That's not how that works. Um, you're splitting it among all the devices on the network. So Michael, if I missed anything on that point, uh, help me out on that. But that's what it's for, right? It's so you have multiple mm -hmm. lanes of traffic coming in. It's so you're not using a single lane of, of internet. And remember, device some devices don't get a gig speed. My new iPhone will do 700 up and down. Um, it's never going to get a gig. Wi-Fi doesn't work that way. And it's also on the, the signal strength of that antenna for your device too. So it's just not on the strength of our router. It's it's on your device that you're using. Not sure if that helps clear that question up or fog it up or not. No, you, you hit it right on right on the head, Chris. Um, we're providing the available bandwidth and it, it will depend on each device what that capacity is. Um, but we're able to provide that full gig, full 10 gigs, straight to the home and then what happens to their per device, it kind of varies, but you'll have that available bandwidth to share amongst the limited devices that you have within the home. Okay, thank you. Uh, next question, Daniel, it looks like you joined late, but just so you know, um, we have Fiber live in Yuba right now and we are taking sales and pre-orders for when your service is available. If you want to check your address, you can go to race.com slash sales or sale, sorry, and it will, Sage will put it in the chat since I just butchered that, but um, you can place an order there and we will make sure to get that taken care of and you can see if it's available now or it's a pre-order, but we are servicing and offering pre-order throughout Yuba. And I'll go ahead and drop that order in the chat as well. Um, next question, looks like we have another router question and there are Robert is asking, is the same router used for, for all of our speeds across our packages? Can Is it one router for from the 25 to 10, or what's the story? Do you want to handle that, Michael? Yeah, I can pick that up. Um, the routers that we use um, are all going to be the same. So whether or not you're signing up with our, our base speed or our premium speed, um, we're going to provide an all-in-one unit there within the home. Um, that will be able to handle the the speeds within the home. So if you let's say if you wanted to upgrade or downgrade, uh, you'll be able to do so without needing a technician to come back out into the home and replace any equipment. Uh, and real quick on the the same router is used for the 10 gig service, but I do want to point out that in that instance we do a little bit different installation due to that speed. So. We will install the same router, but then we will also install a separate ONT, optical network terminal, so that if you choose to use your own 10 gig, 5 gig, 2 gig capable equipment that you have, um, you can plug it directly into our ONT to get that full capability. Whereas the 1 gig or lower plans, we're installing an all-in-one unit, 
um, to make it easy and convenient. Yeah, Matt, I wanted to add on Blaine. Blaine had a question on here that kind of jumps onto the router. Yeah, we have a, an Ethernet handoff for switches that you can go ahead and use our off our router. Um, we can turn it to bridge mode. You can use your switches all day long. Um, on the 10 gig service, we do have a router with a 10 gig handoff, but that's going to be on your network to get it to that 10 gig speed after that handoff. Hopefully that cleared that question up. All right, thank you. Um, we have a question. This looks like it's probably for Chris right up your alley. How long does installation take and are there a lot of wires? A lot of the wires, absolutely not. We have one fiber wire. I don't know if you can see it on my screen. Nope, can't. Little, it's small, right? Mm -hmm. It's one small fiber wire um, that comes from the outside clamshell to come in your house. Like I said earlier, it's about the size of an iPhone charger, a little bit smaller, and it's flat. Um, that's the only wire coming into your home that feeds the router that does Wi-Fi, um, your phone handoff with your, your phone plug-in and your Ethernet ports. There's four ports on the back of our router. You can feed switches or whatever you need to do with that. Um, as far as time frame, it really de depends on the side of their house. There's some big houses in Yuba City, generally an hour, hour and 20 minutes for an install. Um, hour and 20, 20, 30 minutes includes the TV, the mesh, mesh units if we need to add it, the heat map. Um, if you add TV services, anything can add it, but generally an hour at minimum, which you do need to be home for the entirety of the install. Um, a lot of people want to just leave our tech in and go, go shopping. We don't want that to happen. You need to stay in the house for that install. Um, the, the drops take about two hours, depending um, if it's an underground drop. It can take two to four, depending on your, your property. We try to restore all the grass, everything back to how it looked. You're still going to see a little bit of a dig, but we try to get it restored back. So it does take some time on that. But yeah, generally hour and hour, hour and a half for an installation. Like I said, depending on the house size. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, so on the next one, we have uh, some concerns about switching the service with email providers. They are asking if they switch, will they lose their current email address? Um, how, how does that work when they're changing internet service providers, but they currently are using at and Uverse? Can they keep that email address? Yeah, so that's, that's really up to at and um, that sometimes some providers um, require you to be an active customer to retain their email. And that's just the game they play sometimes to retain customers. It's unfortunate. Um, Race does not provide an email because we don't want to lock you in. Uh, we feel there's plenty of free email options out there. Um, so uh, to determine that, you really need to call your current provider and see um, if there's any options to be able to take that email with you when you leave. Okay, thank you so much. Um, let's see here. I think we've gone through most of them here. I'm just There's a good question on what's faster, Cat5 or Wi-Fi? Um, always talk. faster the hard connect to any device if you can. Um, it cannot... Wi-Fi can't keep up with hard connected speeds. Uh, Wi-Fi is going to give you good speed, but if you want the fastest, hard hard connection's it. Yeah. Um, that's that's always going to be your most reliable connection, and we really do recommend at least Cat five, um, Cat five uh, E or Cat six or better. Um, so that way you get the best connection within your home through a hardwired connection. I wanted to grab one more question on the router installations from Blaine. Um, he wants to know if he can control where the hardware and ONT is installed. We're going to give good advice where we can connect it. If we can get there with an outside wrap like we do our fiber, sure, you can control where it is. Um, if you want to go to the center of your home and there's a lot of wall fishing and stuff, we can hand you fiber and you can put that thing anywhere you want. Um, we try not to fish walls. It, it's not, not the easiest thing and it's not anything we can make back perfect and make your walls, you know, and repair paint and all that other stuff. But mm -hmm. our techs are going to work with you to put it in the position you want it. Um, we have people that want it in garages and we always say, don't put it in your garage. 
because you don't have good Wi-Fi connection. It's hard to connect Ethernets, but they're gonna they're gonna work with you and figure out a good spot to put it. They're just not gonna drop it on the closest room away, you know, to the to the side of the house. Hopefully that clears it up. Yeah, thank you. A uh, couple more questions. I know we're almost at time, um, but we have one from Keith, who is on our order page. So thank you, Keith, for checking us out. Um, but it does say for him that his, it says on the 10 gigabit plan that his own router is required, but he thought that we said it was included on our earlier slide. Can we mm -hmm. help out and shed some light on that? Yeah, that's definitely a little confusing. So good question, Keith. Um, so yes, we will install a free router even on the 10 gig plan. Um, what they're trying to outline here is because 10 gig is such a new product on the market, um, our routers LAN ports are one gig capable. So if you sign up for our 10 gig plan and use our equipment, you'll be able to utilize four LAN ports in the back of the router to get a dedicated gig each. And the rest of the 10 gig bandwidth is available over Wi-Fi. So for most consumers applications, 10 gig using our equipment um, is more than enough. But there is some equipment available that you can purchase if you want to have a two gig LAN port, a five gig LAN port, a 10 gig LAN port. So if you want the full 10 gig capability out of a LAN port, even though there's not many devices you can buy that can even handle that. But if you want to do that, that's what it's speaking to, where if you want to run a speed test and see more than one gig hardwired out of the equipment, you need to, to get that um, high-end equipment on the market. Um, so hopefully that answered the question. I saw somebody else um, asking a question. Um, is there a certified list of approved equipment uh, for 10 gig setup? We don't have a list because again, this is a newer technology, but um, you know our equipment uses um, the ethernet port. So if you buy aftermarket router, um, as long as it has an ethernet connection and it has the capabilities you need, then you're good to go. It's not some other special type connection that makes it unique. Um, it is a standard ethernet connection into that router. All right, thank you. And also on that note, it sounds like we have a lot of people that are really interested in the 10 gigabit per second service. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop a link in the chat for everybody. It is for the ebook we have on 10 gig and how it changes everything. And there's a lot of really helpful information in here. It's a whole guide to it. Um, and it will answer a lot of questions, even some of the ones maybe you haven't thought of yet. So that's just some helpful information. We're gonna stick in that chat here. We have just a couple more in just a couple more minutes. It looks like we have one from Tashila and it says, can you have two routers in the house instead of using mesh? Michael, you want to get this question? Absolutely. I can pick that up and, and great question. Um, so absolutely, you can always have two routers in the house. However, we wouldn't recommend it because what ends up happening uh, with a second router in the home is it creates a double NAT issue within the network. Um, and essentially what that means is it's, it runs into confusion on where to send the IP addresses. Um, and so things kind of get mixed up. So. We always recommend one router in the home and then either a wireless access point system or a mesh system to help extend that coverage throughout the home. Um, definitely, you don't want to put two routers on the same network um, because it will cause confliction with the traffic going to the devices. All right. That answered your question. Thank you so much. All right. I think we've hit most of the questions in the chat, um, but if you do, guys, if you guys come up with more questions, feel free to either reply to the email that you got with the webinar link in it, or go ahead, um, you can send us an email, you can send it to marketing at race.com, and I will make sure it gets to the right person for you. Um, just really thank you for spending so much time with us tonight. I know that everyone's busy and we really appreciate you spending time to chat with us. So again, if you can go to the next slide real quick, I think there's one more. Uh, just in case you're interested and you do want to order now, go ahead and either scan that QR code. You can give us a call tomorrow at the 877 number below, 
or go to race.com slash order. But it's been a pleasure being with you all tonight. And thank you so much again. That concludes the town hall. Have a good night, guys. Thank Bye. you. Thanks, everybody.